Right then, here we go, MGB. Yeah. Everyone should have an MGB, I Blaze, I think it's Blaze, I would imagine. Not too sure. Blaze or Blade? Blaze, I think. Blaze, is it? I, think it is, yeah. I can never um, remember them all. It's obviously a rubber bump to convert to chrome, yeah. which is the best thing you can do. I know. I'll just turn it off a sec so we yeah. can hear. Yeah, Grenda Ray always used to say that, didn't he? Oh, without a doubt. I know they're a little bit poo pooed by the purists until they get one, then they change it. We used to find the same thing with MGTDs, the five speed gearbox. The purists used to come in. It's only a bargain employee, you know, it's a rubbish nature. Oh, shut up, they're talking rubbish. And, uh, no, no, I shouldn't have that. Should have a noisy, growly old useless four speed gearbox. Don't have a nice, smooth five speed gearbox that ma makes you, that allows you to cruise at 65, 70 down the motorway. No, no, no. Until they buy one, then they've got 2,500 quid spare, then they go and have one, don't they? So, all this rubbish about, no, it shouldn't be done. Best thing you can do, because a later MGB is a better car than an early MGB. Now, I'm quoting now MGB specialists. Um, and that might not all agree, but the people that I know and I respect about MGBs will tell you exactly that. They sit better, we all know that. They ride better, they're better built, which is why there's more nice ones around than there is early ones. And there's no excuse saying, well, the rubber bumper ones are later ones. Yeah, but they are, but only by a few years. So, so you, you look at the rusty old chrome bumper ones and then the pretty original and sound rubber bumper. Think about it, makes you think. So conversion to chrome bumper, fantastic, perfect. Um, I don't know too much about the car. It's got overdrive gearbox by the look of it. And the which are quite nice. Um, got some bits and pieces inside, as you can see. And it's, um, it looks a little bit sort of performancey. I did notice that there's a little bit of a rattle on the engine there, which sounded maybe, I don't know, it could be tappets or something. I'm not too sure. Don't hold me on that, but I just noticed a little bit of a rattle there. Um, but look how sound the old girl is. This is what I mean. You know, if this were a, a four year older chrome bumper, the chances are that would be tatty and horrible in there, but look how nice it is. Mm. So, uh, got an amazing of a nice car. Once it's finished off, look, the sound dead in all the rest of it missing. Interior is acceptable, isn't it? Well, more than acceptable, it's fine. Very good inside, wood dash and that, which I quite like. I don't like the sloppy steering wheel, but some people will. Makes the steering very heavy with a little tiny wheel about the size of a dinner plate, no good at all. Wants a nice wood rim wheel put on there to match the dashboard. Headlining's all good, carpet's okay, acceptable, but it's cheap for nothing. So, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Skin's nice, look. Better car than you might initially think, because the way it's presented at the moment, yeah, look, all straight and tidy. The way it's presented at the moment is that it wants finishing off, mm. which basically it does. But it gives you a poor impression of it like that. You imagine it just finished off, cleaned up and looking nice, and then everyone would say, oh, what a lovely MGB. So it wants, literally, a couple of weekends more. 